teacher talking sports what it does what it do how we live in every tuesday except last tuesday i did take a one week hiatus i've been doing a series called is he a hall of famer i right? take a look at a player whose career recently ended or whose career is winding down and take a look at their hall of fame chances what they did in their career whether i believe they should get in the hall of fame um again i've been doing it for players who career recently ended or winding down eventually i may uh go deeper into it guys whose career has ended a while ago yet haven't gotten in look at their cases but for now that's how i'm doing it i've done 12 i've done uh one mlb and maybe five or six uh nfl and nba guys so today i'm going to do another nfl guy this guy's career ended on a high note by winning his first career Super Bowl. So the 13th edition of Is He a Hall of Famer is safety Eric Weddle. So Eric Weddle went to college at Utah, played collegiately for the Utah Utes before he was drafted in the second round, 37th overall by the San Diego Chargers. Weddle went on to play nine seasons for the Chargers until 2015. In the 2016 season, he joined the Baltimore Ravens where he played three seasons, played 2019 with the Rams, uh, ended up retiring before he joined the Rams for their postseason run, which culminated in the Super Bowl in the 2021 season. So again, coming out of retirement and ending his career officially on a high note let's take a look at his career numbers via his pro football reference page so Weddle played a total of 201 games uh definitely amongst the leaders for safeties in nfl history had 29 interceptions for four touchdowns in his career take a look at his season by season numbers so had three straight Pro Bowls in his three seasons with the Ravens and made three Pro Bowls with the Chargers in two of those seasons, 2011 and 2014. He was a first-team All-Pro. I was also a second-team All-Pro in 2010, 2012, and 2013. In 2011, when he was a first-team All-Pro, he was tied for the NFL lead with his seven interceptions. Uh, all in all, he had seven seasons of at least two interceptions, had six as well with the Ravens. In 2017, uh, Weddle was known as both a good run tackler uh, and um, tackle, short tackler in the backfield, well, as a pass defender. Um, he had four seasons in his career with over 100 tackles. Second season had a career high of 127, 38 tackles for a loss, covered seven fumbles, forced eight in his career, nine and a half sacks from the safety spot. And Eric Weddle was a guy you could count on to play nearly um, every single game. As you see, um, first whole career, the 2021 season, uh, he didn't play in the regular season. So for his whole career, the NFL season was 16 games. So in 10 of his 13 seasons, he played in all 16 games and starting all 16 of them in each of those 10 seasons. Start every game of his career except for his rookie season. Uh, so again, was very high profile, one, known as one of the league's best safeties throughout his career, uh, even his passes defensed. 98 for his career, three seasons in double digits. Uh, Weddle was named to the Pro Football Hall of Fame first team for safeties. Um, I believe who joined them was Eric Berry. Um, I will admit Eric Berry's not going to make the Hall of Fame. His career was too short. Um, overcame some injuries, overcame cancer, uh, you know, was an awesome player, just didn't play long enough. And Earl Thomas, who is definitely going to make the Hall of Fame. So Eric Weddle's really in between them in his chances to make the Hall of Fame. So Pro Football Reference also has something called the Pro Football Hall of Fame Monitor. So it's a metric designed to estimate a player's chances of making the Pro Football Hall of Fame using approximate value, Pro Bowls, All Pros, Championships, and various stat milestones. So I also meant to mention that um, you know, a 10 or above approximate value meant you had a very good season, and Weddle had seven of those. 
If you compare them to the two safeties who most recently made the Hall of Fame, um, both of them had pretty long waits. Uh, John Lynch, I, I believe John Lynch and Steve Atwater had four uh, seasons with at least a 10 approximate value, give or take one. So um, Weddle had more of those seasons. Both of those guys did have more Pro Bowl appearances. Um, I think Lynch had nine and Atwater eight, maybe the other way around. Um, I think all three of them had first two first team all pros and Weddle had more second team all pros than them. But anyhow, uh, so this again measures their Hall of Fame chances, at least according to Pro Football Reference. If we scroll down, Eric Weddle's actually just slightly behind Earl Thomas. So um, you know, I'm surprised he's that close to him. Uh, his career was longer. Then Earl Thomas says he actually played 61 more games, but 77.7. So there are some defensive backs with a higher rating that um, are eligible and are not in the Hall of Fame. Those are Lester Hayes and Dave Grayson. Richard Sherman, not yet eligible. Patrick Peterson, still active. Uh, but Weddle is ahead of some defensive backs that are in the Hall of Fame, including Ty Law, Roger Worley, Mel Renfro, Donnie Shell, John Lynch, Ken Riley, Emmett Thomas, and Dick LeBeau. Um, so he is Pro Football Hall of Fame monitor. Kind of has him, you know, maybe trending toward being in the Hall of Fame. Uh, very close. Um, but again, so if I, who are the two guys I mentioned? So John Lynch, 64.28, as I mentioned, had to wait a while. Steve Atwater, 86.28. Um, so he is a decent amount above Weddle on this. And he did get in, but he had a very long wait, even longer than John Lynch. Uh, both of those guys also won a championship. Lynch won one, Atwater won two with the Broncos. And of course, as I mentioned, Weddle won one. Uh, this is via heavy.com. Um, X Ram Safety. Oops, sorry. X Ram Safety. Eric Weddle is a Hall of Famer, says Rams. Really? Uh, says Rams coach Sean McVay by Landon Buford. So if I scroll down, basically what he says, uh, McVay was recently interviewed by TMZ Sports, and during the interview was asked about how the Rams will replace Eric Weddle. Yeah, it's going to be tough. You don't replace him, but I couldn't be more thankful for working with Eric. He's a special person, one of the smartest players I worked with. He had a he's had a great career. He's a Hall of Famer. So again, you wonder McVay's probably a little biased. Um, you know, was a head coach of Eric Weddle for his two last seasons. This is via Sports Kita. Uh, let's see who wrote the article. Uh, Eric Weddle belongs in Canton. Timothy H. Lindsay modified April 14th of this year. So if we go down, mentions how uh, NFL's co-leader in interceptions 2011, member of the NFL's 2010 All-Decade team. However, the singular awards were not his best achievement. His best achievement was being a part of the Rams Super Bowl win in 2022. At the end, it mentions Eric Weddle belongs in Canton, Ohio. Anyone who disagrees will having a hard time building a case against the legendary defensive back. So pretty much when you're a part of an all-decades team, um, you know, I definitely think you have to be considered at least. You know, it means you were one of the best players throughout the entire decade um, at your position. Uh, Eric Weddle was that. Uh, was a very productive player for three teams, Chargers, Ravens, and Rams. Again, as I mentioned, retired after the 2019 season, took a year off, took a whole regular season off, and because of injuries to the safeties, um, he, they, he came out of retirement, and he played a large role. As the last the NFC Championship game and the Super Bowl, he played in every defensive snap, I um, believe had like 14 total tackles in those two games. Um, all in all, played 13 games in the postseason in his career. Uh, two sacks, one interception, which actually came in his rookie year uh, postseason interception. Also deflected five passes, 74 tackles. So was productive in the postseason as well. So my thoughts on if Eric Weddle should be in the Hall of Fame. I'm going to say, you know, I think he is very, he's 
pretty much on an even plane with the Steve Atwooders and John Lynch's. And both of those guys had to wait a long time before getting in. So Eric Weddle might be... Um, same thing might happen with Weddle. Doesn't exactly play a high-profile position. I believe there are 20 safeties in the Hall of Fame. And you know some of them played cornerback as well. A guy like Mel Renfro played half his career as a cornerback. Um, so full-time safeties it's even less than that um you know that super bowl win definitely helped his case though um six-time pro bowler two-time first team all pro three times second team all pro um seven seasons with an approximate value over 10 uh two seasons at 13 so i, I do think eric weddle will get in the pro football hall of fame eventually um, when that happens remains to be seen. I think he will become eligible, yes, in 2027, so four years from now. And who knows, you might have to wait uh, till 2032, 2033. I think it may take a little bit, but I think Weddle eventually gets in. But let me know your thoughts. Is Eric Weddle a Hall of Famer? Would you put him in? How long do you think he's going to wait? Do you think he's a first ballot Hall of Famer? Let me know in the comments. And again, let me know other guys you would like to see me do. I have these in a playlist. You could check them all out. Don't forget to subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe. Like the video, share the video, hit the bell for notifications. I'm out.